What's up guys, BTBS here and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. Now, uh, I know I was a bit derpy in the last couple of episodes, but it's okay, I sorted it. I moved the Soul Cage spawner to the overworld, it's all uh, all set up. And, oh, a bit of lag there. Uh, we probably have a lot of mobs. Hmm, not that many. Got a nice little um, thing going on here. And, uh, yeah, we do have a lot of mobs. Aha, kill each other. Do it now, kill each other. And again. Good skellies. <laughs> ah, if you can get in and kill each other when there's too many of them. Oh. Right. The spawner should be turned off right now, which is good. So, uh, let's just dump this stuff away. Oh, good lord. Oh god, it's that fucking... It's that lag again. It's not the normal lag, it's different lag. Oh look, I've got some leather. Also, I've, I've got about five level 30s from this, and I've already got that many bows. Which I personally find ridiculous. Right, one second, I only need to fix this lag. Right, sorry about that guys, this should be better. Uh, should be not so much lag. Uh, oh. Okay, there's still some, there's a lot. Fuck, the second I start recording. Uh, right, anyway. Uh, yeah, so I moved the spawner, it's all working, it's all up and running, everything works just fine. Uh, apart from the fact that I have to come up here to turn it off. So I'm just wiring up a quick uh, redstone signal here. Uh, well, this doesn't need to be here. And I think just running one uh, just break that. right across the top of the spawner should work. So if we just flip the lever down here into the opposite, opposite position, and that should turn it off. So that goes on. Oh. And. Hey, it worked! Look at that. That's, uh, yes, I'm surprised at that because my stuff, like, that never works first time for me. Uh, what I am going to need to do is uh, just get this back over the top here. Yes, just throw it. Oh, the lag, the lag, the lag. I don't know what this is. I only get this in Feed the Beast. So just do that to stop any rogue skeletons trying to spawn a right above it. So there you go, just a basic uh, redstone vertical transmission tower. Well, it spears out to the side a couple of times, but it's still a basic tower. Now, uh, once I'm going to just kill these guys, and then we can move on to the main attraction. Uh, you know what, I'm not going to do the main attraction until I've got rid of all this lag. This is absolutely atrocious. Come on, scroll. I'm just clean up all these mobs. Because you never know, they might have something to do with it. I mean, there's not many of them, but still. It all makes a difference, doesn't it? Right, there we go. Now, I'll put the bows away. I get so many bows from these guys. Let's put these away. Hey, protection too. <laughs> so, I want... Uh, let's that away. Oh, I can't target anything. Put that sword away. Put the arrows away, any that I've got. Right, let's try again, shall we? Looks like it's alright. Just pop that block back in there. So yeah, basic redstone uh, transmission tower there, nothing special. I started growing some melons because I thought, you know what? It's easier to uh, kill them with melon potions, healing potions, than it is with a sword. And, you know, it just, it just straight out is. So, what am I doing today? Oh, yes, let me just, uh, right, yes. So, uh, first off, I wanted to make an electric hoe. No, that's, um, no, we won't do that today. So, need to make a gear. So, we've got wood gear, made like that with wood, and then sticks, uh, sorry, sticks, and then to a stone gear, and then a stone gear to an iron gear, iron gear to a gold gear, gold gear, to a diamond gear. I'm surprised no one's added in like um, 
Iridium Gears. Good old Greg Tech. And here we have the refinery. Yes, that's right. We are finally getting to it, the refinery. Now we have a bunch of gold pipe here, which I just thought I'd make an absolute ton of. We have uh, a bunch of pipe waterproofing, so I'll make my first my wooden one, and then make a load of waterproof gold pipe here. Swagtastic, and uh, make a stack of tanks. I already had some tanks, so that was. You know, a bit of a waste, but ah, well, who cares? We'll take them with us. Just uh, sleep the night away here. Right, make sure I've got at least one arrow, just because it's an infinity bow, not a magic bow. Swap that jetpack out. I actually, I love having the ender pouch, so useful. And uh, let me guess, full of bows and bones and arrows, yep, yeah, of course. Let's have a look. Oh, as is that. I should probably empty some of those into here. I wonder if you can shift click with this like this. No, it doesn't look like it. Did I just throw that redstone engine? No, I didn't. Okay, right. Pick up the redstone engine. There we go. Let me just uh, chuck some of these away. Why is there 55 in all of them? It just seems odd. Oh, hey, look, all those guys outside are dying. So, yeah, just clean up my uh, hunter's bag here. And uh, just lock it. Okay, now arrows. Every arrow goes in there, and bones. Every bone goes in there, and those arrows go in there. I told you this already. Oh, that's a bit better. Grab. No. Oh, where did all those bones come from? I thought I just stored all those. That's horrible. Right, so. Uh, yes, today we are going to be... Uh, we missed, we forgot something actually. Ow, that was a really hard fall. Um, what did we forget? We forgot... No, I keep going back to that. Oh yes, mining well. Oh no, I made the mining well. So the, no, I didn't. The mining well, and then you put the pump above it, the uh, tank above it. Sorry, to get the pump, and the pump is what's going to be doing all our magic for us. And the closest oil source we have uh, is either that one or that one. I think this is closer, even though it is at the top of a hill. So we're going to come from here. Let's just uh, clear the area away. And of course there's nothing left in my advanced dungeon drill. So that was all I could clear away. Brilliant. And I'm getting block lag as well. Fuck you know. Pull it together Minecraft. Pull yourself together. Right, uh, so let's do this. We need to just position the uh, mining well. Uh, not, sorry, the pump right here. And uh, yeah, that's cool. I think that's going to work. Ah. Oh god, underwater, don't like being underwater. So we want to put some uh, redstone engines on there because basically this thing needs uh, MJ power. So that will do that and then if we put a wooden transport pipe on the top and then connect that to the gold and then whichever way this goes is basically that's where the liquid is going to go to. And now what we need to do is power the engines. So if we just stick a redstone thing there and another one right here. If we go under water here we can just see the I'm better than you water. Yes, there we go. The uh, pump head has just poked out of the top there, and there we go, that is the first bucket of oil harvested. And right now it has nowhere to go, so it's just sitting in the tank, uh, in the pipe. So, let's give it somewhere to go, shall we? Now, I was debating how to do this, and I have n still haven't got a good idea, so 
Uh, let's use a bad idea. Let's just set the jetpack to hover. And I think if we just go out and then straight down, that'll be fine. That will end up perfect. Nothing could possibly go wrong with that. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, see, we lost a bucket of oil though. And there we go. Look, see, we've already um, chopped off the top of the oil flow. It's just like oil flows like water, and uh, all that that was around here was just um, not a source block, so it doesn't count. Actually, no, you know what? We're not going to do it like this. Let's do this. We are going to send it this direction, and it's going to get stored in some big, big tanks. So let's get some big, big tanks. So just plop them right down like this. And uh, 13 tanks. That's 130 uh, buckets of oil. So it's 130 it's holding right there. That is a decent amount. And I don't think we'll probably ever... I'm not sure if we'll pass that. Like I said, I've never really done anything with these before. Just break these. Oh no, drop me pipes. Right, here we go. So, yes, this will now automatically just fill up this. And uh, yeah, let's just clean this up. I mean, look, even the landscape's cleaning itself up. We should do something as well. But yeah, the good thing about these is they just go down and down and down and down. In fact, I've got my Respiration 3 helmet on, so we can just take a little, uh, little stroll. Let's see, we're going down to 80. Yeah, the one thing about this, this was up really, really high. So we might actually get, a, like, 20 or 30 extra sources out of this than you would out of a normal, uh, a normal oil well. <laughs> Still got my jetpack on. So yeah, this goes quite the way down. And then when you get down to the bottom, there's usually a cavern, much like this one. And if we just do this, yeah, look, if you can just look at this, we just have a big cavern here. And uh, it's a lot like, oh, where's that? What's that? Oh, wait, yeah, of course, that's what this is. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, let's um, switch up torches. By the way, this might just hurt your eyes a little bit here. I know it does it to me every so often. When I place a redstone torch by accident and replace it, oh with a uh, sulfur uh, aluminium torch so yeah we have this big room like this uh, you might not be able to see it it's very very dark oh, there's nickel out there uh, yeah it's basically just a big room and uh, yeah it's all lava uh, not lava sorry all oil and our pump will harvest every single last drop of that I mean uh, for those of you who don't know how effective a pump is um, if you put a pump in the nether, which we will be doing by the way, hopefully this episode actually, I could knock that out as well at the same time. Hey look, we have almost 10 buckets in there. Sweet. So let's um, go back and charge up this drill quickly. Yeah, if you put a pump in the nether and start pumping lava away, uh, I think it reaches about 150 blocks or something like that. And... You know, that's just from the free power that redstone gives it. Could you imagine if you powered these with, say, electrical engines, how much faster they would pull? Like, these electrical engines here, I absolutely love these things. But, God bless them, I'm not going to be using them. Oh, by the way, I got a new power source, um, and it's one that is very plentiful. Basically, these are sodium cells. I think I got these from uh, clay dust. Yeah. 8 clay dust, 10 seconds, 2 sodium cells. These, when combined with an empty fuel can, get you a 60,000 EU fuel can. And also, it doesn't use the uh, can once you've done it. So what you do, just pop them all in here, like this. And that's uh, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. So what is that? That's 60 times 5. Uh, fuck knows. My math is not good. But yeah, then you can take the empty fuel cans out and you can just chuck them back in here and uh, get them filled up again. 
and it takes almost no energy to do this. I mean, let's have a look. It's a thousand energy to put that in there, and it takes ten seconds, and it turns a useless item into a sixty thousand EU item. Which, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty damn good. Especially seeing as I have over a stack of them just sitting around. Right, uh, just grab. Right, here we go. Just uh, wanted to get those fuel cans ready to go. Just pop these back in. Oh, no, not in the generator. I meant to put them in the golden chest. And, uh, yeah, I've got a bit of cold coke sitting around. I just keep my coke ovens going whenever I can. It's more free energy from my semi-fluid generators. And now the uh, the fuel that we get is going to be a very nice uh, source of fuel. That's an awful lot of fuel. I may need to build a couple more, like, MFSUs or multifunction storage units. But oh, I was actually thinking of building a um, a Greg Tech one, which is like the uh, adjustable energy storage unit. But it's very expensive, but it's also very worth it. It holds like a ridiculously high amount of energy. Like I think it's like a billion energy, and it can input energy. It, it can have energy input at basically any amount, like. You can have it go in at 8,000 EU a tick and, it, and it, the machine's just like, yeah, that's cool, don't worry about it, I've got it handled. And it can output energy at any amount you choose, which is a pretty unique thing. You tell it how much to output at and it does. I thought we'd filled that up then, just looking at the sky through it. It does look like, like can you tell where the oil is? I think it's about there. Nope, it's higher than that. So yeah, already we're getting quite a bit of oil coming through, and um, I don't plan on refining it up here. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to lay a pipe trail all the way down, bring it out, and have the pipe come up inside my house, basically, or near enough. I want to build like a little, uh... in fact, we could just go right out the bottom of this tank, like this. So that's what we'll do, we'll go right down like this, and don't worry about fly uh, digging straight down because I'm wearing two pieces of fire protection armor and I have a jetpack, so I'm really not bothered. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight down like this. Ooh, a cave. Uh, oh, there you go, that's floor level. Uh, no, uh, yeah, so what we can do is just go down a bit further. In fact, let's just whack some stone out there. Can't have any of those mobs knowing we're here, can we? Just keep going down. Oh, that should be enough. And then we're going to go forwards here. And, uh, oh, I wish I had a mining laser. I should build one of those. They're, they are not that expensive anymore. Wait, do they need iridium? No, they don't. They need... No, sorry, I'm just getting sidetracked by my own imagination my own thoughts. My brain is like not a cool guy. He just randomly like sh points at me and shouts monkeys and then I'm just like fuck monkeys! Oh those guys are awesome they're so ador adorable! I love monkeys! And then my brain's just standing there like laughing at me just like ha got him again see that? Oh. Let's get down there. Right. Just, just, ah. Doo -doo -doo. Right. And um yeah, so I'm going to have the pipe probably coming up down here, or uh, even down here, like where I was going to have it originally. I was going to have it filling a, uh, a couple of oil tanks here, have the refinery in the middle, and then have the output energy uh, tanks, the output fuel tanks in there. I want to have like a huge store of fuel, and I've actually found a better way than tanks for storing the um, like what you get after all. So actually, yeah, let's build... Let's build an iron tank. So, let's see, iron tank wall is iron plates, that's four iron in a rolling machine. We better get our rolling machine up and running. Excuse me, fella. Thank you. Right, let's just pop you in there. And So we're going to need the rolling machine, which should be in here. Yes, it is. It is indeed. Uh, there it is. 
So we'll get him up, get him starting to be powered. And it's four, so uh, I have no idea how much I'm going to need. Let's see, four of it makes four, and four iron makes three. So it's pretty much one piece per iron. Oh, sorry, I had to reorient myself in my chair there. So yeah, it's pretty much one piece per iron. What about the tank gauges? Okay, that's glass panes. I can do that. And the valves? That's just a lever and some iron bars. So, I don't know. Put two stacks of iron in there? I think that'll do. And, I mean, the more we've got, the bigger we can make it. And the bigger it is, the more efficient it is. So, it's all good. Um, I'm going to need some iron bars. Uh, yeah, two sets will do. Ouch, stupid hoe. Right, that's two sets of iron bars. I'm going to need some glass. Oh, to show sure I used all my glass, didn't I? This is all the glass I've got left. That's okay. I only want, like... Basically the same amount of glass as I'm going to have uh, those. So that's all good. And let's see, the recipe was... Glass there for that one. And it was that... I think it was actually... Isn't it iron bars? Let me check. That's glass and iron plates. That is uh, that's iron bars. Right, okay. Sorry, I'm just getting confused now. I'm confusing myself. What the hell? Oh, basalt cobble. Why is all that in there? Oh, who knows? Hey, look, got some iron plates. Lovely. So, the recipe for this one is a lever in the middle as well. Uh, let's just let's make a load of levers. I always need levers and can never find any. You up there, you there. Lots and lots of levers. Deal. So, there you go. That's the iron tank uh, valves. And the valves, because uh, basically what we're doing here is building something sort of like a coke oven. And um, the valves are actually appear on it as separate blocks. And the valves are the input and outputs. So I'm thinking at least one valve on the top and one valve for the output. I might even end up building two of these tanks just because I can. I've got so much iron, so let's just take four of those for now, and that will do for the valves. And we can take the rest of this, and let's see, the uh, glass. The glass lets you see through it, and I did that wrong. Yeah, the glass lets you see uh, into the tank, and you can physically tell how much is in there. No? Oh, it's five glass, okay. So, you know, um... Oh, I did not mean to make that much. Oh, balls doesn't matter of it's not like I'm hurting for iron or anything is it <laughs> so then we'll just turn all this into these and that gives us 20 and I think I'm not 100% on the sizes of these I know there can't be any entities inside them when they form so uh, let's just go down to the basement and create one let's go and create a giant uh, solid unbreakable tank in my basement. Come on, if you could have a tank in your basement, wouldn't you? Yeah, you jelly, bro. So let's just chip away this wall here because I want it to sit around here. I'm thinking maybe 5x5 five five would be a good way to. S nah, that's a bit big actually, a 5x5. Five five. So what's a 3x3 th three three would that do? Let's start with a 3x3. Three three. So. We'll build this like this. Oh, make sure there's no uh, excess blocks hanging off the side, otherwise that can cause you problems. And we're going to think, where are we going to be coming down to look at this from? If we make an access hatch in the middle here, so it'll be right here. So we're going to want this side to be our uh, viewing port. So let's just do this. Do do. Uh, we need the valve there. Oh, I'm actually out of the normal. Okay. That went faster than I thought. 
So instead of this, what we'll do is we'll put um, glass ones all here, and we're gonna need two more. Okay, we we'll just go up and get some. A rolling machine. Please tell me you've got them already. Thank you. Why does shift clicking from a rolling machine do that? I do not understand. Right, there we go. Got it. And I can just craft it in my MV. What was that? Low pressure boiler. Ah, yeah, the um you can use steam as an energy source from like boilers. It's quite complicated and it requires a lot of time and energy and knowledge and other stuff. So what have I done wrong? Oh wait, isn't it supposed to be a three by three internal capacity? Or is it just this? Like does this need to be a solid block? Like, no, not like that. Like that. Is that ready? No, nope, that's still not right. Okay. Um, one second. Right, guys, I'm back in the uh, sub basement here, and uh, it looks like a tank can be uh, a 3x3, 5x5, 7x7, or 9x9, and any height you want. So, what I'm doing here is just creating a 5x5. I think I've got enough materials. Uh, yep, yeah, that looks good. And then I want the that to be the valve. And did that work? Yes, it's now a tank. And this tank will hold 64,000. Oh, sorry. It will hold 2 million. And uh, that number is 10 times less than the amount of buckets. So it will actually hold 200,000 buckets of anything you want to put in there. And it's a bit big. Do you know what? One second. Right, I'm back guys. What I did was um, I just changed it down to a 3x3 three three because it says you can make it like pretty much any uh, height you want. So what I'm going to do is I think it would be better to have a deep one than it would be have a wide one because it's easier to clear the vertical space than it is the horizontal right now. So I'm just going to dig this down a little bit and show you how it all works properly. So, you can see the tank here, this has an internal capacity of 720,000 or 7,200 buckets. Now, if we uh, if you break any block, it resets to being a, uh, just blocks again, and when you place it back, it comes back to normal. The um, load bearing, so the outside uh, corners and the roof, um, apart from the, like the middle block, so basically anything that's a middle block doesn't have to be iron tank wall. It can be gauge or um, that one. What's that called? Oh, oh, valve, valve. That's the one. Right, it can be a gauge or a valve. It's getting very dark down here. No, I should probably go and get some light. I love having all this down in my basement. I mean, my normal house is uh, like kind of packed and cramped with just stuff everywhere, and then my basement is like this. It's, uh, I think it's cool. Uh, now, this interesting thing is when you've got uh, liquids in your tank. Uh, yeah, when you've got liquids in your tank, if you break any block, the tank resets to being just blocks. But it keeps the metadata for the liquid, so when you uh, like put that block back, it goes back to normal. Unless you break the bottom middle block, then all the liquid just drains out. It doesn't actually go anywhere, it just, you know, drains out and it's just like, ha, huh, fuck you, you are acting like a dick, we reset all your data. So, bang, we now have a bigger tank. And this one's got 115 two and uh, I'm actually going to want to just put in, oh make sure there's nothing in the inside want to put in these and you can tell when it becomes a full tank again because all the um, like glass, the texture changes for it, ready watch this look bang, beautiful, nice straight like flush texture and yeah this one holds one, one, five, two uh, I'm really going to need to clear out a bigger area down here to work with. 
but yes this for now is going to be our oil holding tank and it's going to be able to hold an incredible amount of oil I'm not going to be able to fill that up for a very long time I promise you that one oil field nowhere near enough to fill that up maybe 10 or 15 oil fields but I wanted to have the um, have it built so I wouldn't need to worry about expanding it also I believe placing a block yeah placing another block um, like another iron tank block or whatever it is uh, actually resets it and it, it starts thinking it's a uh, it's just blocks again so yes we have that set up down there and now I just need to find charge my drill quickly uh, right just jump out of here um, you know what just take this stuff out and turn that off for now this stuff can all go in the machine chest because it is machine related and ah, jump out the hole get out the hole you bastard right now uh, oh we've got quite a lot of oil going on now that wasn't my jetpack running out was it no good need to just finish off digging this hole ah, for fuck's sake. don't fall all the way down it will hurt there we go Right, let's get some torches up in here, and we're just going to dig forward a little bit. So uh, I'm just I'm going to pretty much use the mini map to tell where my house is, and just try and dig into the basement at this level. I'll probably come out in the wrong place, but that's cool. It's experimentation, you know, and it's my house, so you know. I mean, if I was on the server, or if I had, like, a mob farm underground, something to be worried about, I would probably, I don't know, take coordinates, or even set up a quarry, and just have the quarry clear out the entire, like, like level 55 area for 64 blocks around, just so that I could see everything. But I don't need to worry about that. I do need to get a quarry built soon, though, and I'll show you guys how we make one of those. Uh, in the episode where I'm going to build it. Because I would love to have me a quarry going in the background so that I could get all of my ridiculous resources but wouldn't need to necessarily mine all of them myself. Let's see if we turn off here. See the really good thing about um, these golden pipes that I'm going to be using is uh, they are fast. They are The golden are generally the pipes that move things at the quickest speed and uh, we're going to be using nothing but golden pipes to move all this uh, liquid around. Let's put some grass there, why not? And I know I'm using a silk touch pick, it really doesn't matter now. I have a super efficient grinder up and running. And it just means I get to spend more time actually playing the mods so I don't have to waste as much time grinding to try and get decent equipment so that I can, you know, like go and fight a twilight lich or something like that I can get myself some half decent equipment, I can survive longer, I can get uh, better mod stuff going on and that's uh, you know I want to try and get the vanilla stuff out of the way as quickly as possible so that we can get start uh, so that we don't have to worry about it so most of the time when something vanilla comes up I won't do it on camera you know oh, oh look at that accuracy so, uh, let's see, we're coming in there, we want to come in here, so one, two, three, and that's four. So if we move over just a little bit, I'll tell you what I will do is I'll do this. We're basically going to want the uh, pipe coming in here, which is level 61 on uh, 133. So we're going to get to 133, get back down here, sorry, and then get to 133 and take it up to 61. 133. So the pipe should be coming in on this level here. So we're just going to chip our way across. Absolutely no problem at all. It's a very nice pickaxe, it's very fast. Ah, yes, problem at all. Okay, maybe there is a little bit of a problem. That problem being the local flora, flora and flora and fauna. Hmm. Just keep
keep your ears peeled. Wait, does that work? I've never heard anybody say that, and there's probably a good reason for it. So, keep going, keep going. And here we go, into the house. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to need to block the hell out of this. Like, this is going to need to look like it was always just a solid mountain. Fuck off, skeleton. Oh. I don't have time for you. Die in a painful fire. Right. So, do this. And I'm going to go and pretty it up from the, out uh, pretty it up from the outside as well. Make it look much nicer. So I can just block that off now. And uh, we can start running our gold cable. Uh, gold pipe, sorry. And I mean, yeah, this is um, uh, quite a lot of work just to get a bit of uh, oil done. But it's sadly the closest. Which is something I find kind of terrifying that that's the closest. And you know, it's not hard to run all this pipe, and it wasn't expensive either. It's like two gold for eight pipes. Ooh, it's very nice and easy to run as well, actually. I find myself being able to run this extremely easily. It's kind of trippy looking down it as well. And see into the future, man. Uh, just place the pipe in my own head. Yeah, hitting the pipe. Well, what are you supposed to do when you're underground all day? Just bring it up here. Oh, look at that. We had a, we actually have enough pipe. That surprises me. I thought we were going to be like two stacks short or something. It's a bit dark here, actually. Let me just... Uh, Go back a little bit. Pop a couple of uh, no on the floor. Pop a couple of the torches down here, and do 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 Yes, there we go. And we're not going to need that one there. And that's going to connect like that. Sweet. I'll just come out of here. And I think we're going to need another redstone engine just to uh, pull it out and possibly another waterproof wooden transport pipe to act as a, um, you know, like a sucker. Because that's what the, the wooden transport pipes move things, like they pull items out of inventories. And yes, the oil is an item and the tank is an inventory. So yeah, that should work. Uh, yeah, I can't see why it wouldn't work. I'm sure there's some reason why it wouldn't, and uh, if there is, everybody will tell me, don't worry about that. Uh, I want it, I want it. Mine! It's kind of hard to fall into these little, like, one space holes. Where's all my... Oh. I put four of them on here, didn't I? Let's have a look, see how far down this has gone. Whoa! Okay, this has gone quite a ways. This is down at 30 already. Also, it's really horrible traveling through the uh, the pipe from that thing. So that we're going to need one more redstone engine just to uh, get this pipe over here powered. But that's no problem. I've, I did make a whole bunch and I should have them sitting. Hey, you get the fuck off of my solar flower. Yeah, that's what you get. You get dead. Right, there should be another one just sitting in here. Uh, yeah, let's take that. Oh, my inventory is really full of crap. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm chugging a little bit there. Right. Uh, so these are nice bricks. These are ores. And these go in the farm balls. There, simple. Now our chest. Uh, not our chest. Wait. Take the redstone engine. Don't forget that what you came down here for in the first place. Uh, oh, take it, and, yeah, take it, and while you're down here, you might as well charge a diamond drill. Flaming arrow sitting there now. This is why I don't usually hold my uh, bow when I'm, like, trying to interact with chests and other things. Right, let's go. Back up here, and, yeah, we're getting a decent amount of uh, oil stored up now. 
think about it, all this oil is like what was sitting around here and oh look, you can see it moving. Oh this is not good. There's uh it's basically just made like a little den. And I don't want mobs spawning. Oh god, could you imagine if it started just like uh filling up a separate tank and instead of oil it was like creeper brains. It's like, oh dude, dude, a creeper got caught in the mechanism. You should have been there, it was horrific, you would have loved it. Right, let's get the redstone engine. Oh. So yeah, all of this is actually just uh, maybe, I'd say maybe a quarter of what we've actually got. Just power that redstone engine. And there we go. It's uh, it's taking a very, very long, painful looking shit. Oh, that does look really painful actually. I'm assuming this is chunk loaded while I'm at my, at my main base. It must be, right? I mean, yeah, because we keep going up there and seeing all the progress it's made, so it must be chunk loaded while we're here. If we just drop down here, oh, going to need some more lights. And uh, this, in fact, can be closed off. And we're going to see our first lot of oil coming through soon enough. Let's see if we can spot it down the pipe. Everyone look. Look down the end of the pipe. Do you see anything yet? Me neither. Oh, you, where are you? Oh, you. Oh, I can't see it yet. It'll be here in a minute. And when it is, it'll fill this tank. Nowhere near fill the tank, but it'll go in the tank. Uh, oh, that was my jetpack dying. Uh, sorry, I've got my ender pouch on me. Always keep a spare in your ender pouch. Oh, I need to charge both of them now. So right now I'm technically breaking my own rules by not having a filled jetpack in my ender pouch. But I can let myself get away with it because I'm in my base and literally just about to start charging them. There we go, oil! And uh, you get this really cool animation where it pours in from the top as well. So as you can see, look, you can see it pouring in there. It's like there's barely any. And then from here it's like... Oil. Oh, yeah. So we already have 600 buckets of oil? That can't be right. Maybe It must be 60. It must be like however much the tank can hold. Just take the three zeros off the end and that's how many buckets it is. I can believe, well, I can just about believe there's a hundred buckets of oil. I can't believe there's a thousand in there right now. That just seems a bit ridiculous. But hey, look, the oil's coming. It's just a very thin stream of it through the entire length. And that jetpack should be done by now. And this one can go in. And I'm sorry guys, but it looks like we've uh, hit a good wrapping up point here. Uh, well, I mean, we went on for about an extra 13 minutes, but, you know, you can't complain. You, you got your, uh, all the stuff I said I was going to be doing, the oil production and stuff. I'm so happy to start doing this. It's so much, it's so cool. So I'm just going to go up and quickly check on it before I sign off. Ah, get out of here. So, yeah, it looks like our uh, oil amount is definitely going down there. Lovely. So yeah, um, thanks for watching guys, uh, I am officially a, an oil farmer, well, uh, I'm an oil stealer, I haven't farmed anything yet. Anyway, uh, back in the next episode, we'd probably get some uh, refining done or something, I don't know, come back and find out. You'll have to watch to find out. Peace out guys.